What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make homemade RC tire prep. For those that don't know, you put it on your tires to make your car be able to take off and stick to the concrete so you don't spin. Now I have made a video about this before, you can check the other video out right here and the recipe in this video is still a good recipe but I was pretty new to it and I've only made it a few times when I made this video so what I know from now is the recipe in this video is actually better for like when it's real cold outside now I've been making it for a while and I've been making a bunch of different preps and trying it out for a good probably about five months now so I came up with a way better prep recipe and it works real good that's what I've been using for all my races lately and this is what I'm gonna stick with using for a while it's very simple to make all you got to do is follow these steps I'm about to show you and then you'll have your own RC tire prep so let's not waste more time let's get into this video all right y'all so everything that you're gonna need you're gonna need some cornstarch some Cairo corn syrup or even any corn syrup will work you're gonna need some mini marshmallows you can use the big ones but I just kind of measured it out with using the small ones and you're gonna need some sugar also if you want to make it colorful you can get yourself some food coloring but you don't have to have this this is just if you want to add some color to it all right y'all so the first step you're going to want to do is of course turn your stove on and go ahead and pour all your corn syrup in the pot once you got most of it out once you get all of it out a little trick you can do is put the top on and hold it upside down and watch how much more we'll get out of that all right so while that sets and we get some more out of that the next thing you're going to want to do is is get your cornstarch you're going to want to get three tablespoons of cornstarch dump that in there one two three all right, so now we got our cornstarch in there just like that. Then next, you're going to want to get three tablespoons of sugar. There's one, two, three. All right, so now we got all our cornstarch and our sugar in there. And the next thing you want to do is, is get your mini marshmallows. Go ahead and put ten of them bad boys in there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we got our mini marshmallows, our corn syrup, our cornstarch, and our sugar. So the next thing, if you're going to add your color, you can go ahead and put some color into it. We're going to go ahead and do red. So here we go. I like to add two drops. You can add as many drops as you want, but two gets it pretty colorful. I've added four before, and it was like way too dark for my likings. It doesn't matter what the color is, really. All right, so now you got all that in there. You want to go ahead and get it mixed up best you can it takes a while to mix it so just keep mixing it get all that cornstarch and everything like that uh broken up don't look like no prep yet but it will in just a second guys all right so while we let that sit we still got to stir it up some more but we're going to go over to this remember how i said let it sit upside down and you'll get a lot more out of it watch sorry i'm doing this one-handed but look how much more we got out of that just by letting it sit upside down now that's about all of it. All right, so now you're gonna wanna just continue to keep stirring it and stirring it up. You wanna get all that white uh, stuff from the top all mixed up into the Cairo syrup. Best way I found to break up the pieces of cornstarch is get a little spoon like I'm doing and push it into the corner on the side. It seems to work pretty good. All right, y'all, so now you just wanna keep stirring it up and mixing it up until it starts boiling and when I'll get back with y'all whenever it starts boiling. All right, y'all, so once it starts boiling, you're going to want to keep stirring it up and then give it a five-minute boil time. Let it boil for five minutes and then let it cool off. Y'all see the uh, marshmallows going ahead and melt? You want to keep stirring them up, stirring them up. Get all the cornstarch, the sugar, the carouser, all that. You want to get it melted into one. Alright guys, so once the timer's up, it's easy. All you gotta do is stop the boil. Normally we would take it off the hot thing, but since we're on this plastic table, we're not gonna do that. So now all you wanna do is let it cool off, stir it for about a minute or two while it's cooling off, and then you're good to just let it sit until it's cool enough to put it back in the bottle. Well, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video on how to make your homemade RC prep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about how to do it, let me know in the comments, and I'll get back with y'all. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.